Hi, I'm magician Stephen John. I have a newspaper here, which in a moment I will open up page by page. And when I do, I would like you to memorize a picture, an article headline, or something in this newspaper you can identify later. But before I do this, I would like to mention that today there are a lot of people who do not believe in magic. They really don't believe magic is possible. Well, if you're one of these persons, I guarantee that after seeing this trick, you will become a believer. And you will be saying like the man in the song says, never believe it's not so. Watch. Stephen John, come along and watch. Folks, my name is Stephen John, and I'm the improv magician here every Friday and Saturday. And we've got some neat card tricks for you. To start out with, what I will use, you see the whole deck, I will use the four aces. Every deck of cards has four aces, right? One of these aces is heavier than all the others. It weighs more. Does anybody have an idea which ace weighs the most or which one's the heaviest? Anybody? The ace of spades, you're absolutely correct. How did you guys know that? The ace of spades. Okay, Sorry. who can tell me why the ace of spades is heavier? It's probably the ink. You know why it's heavier? Because I said so. No, actually, no, actually, the ladies are right. The ace of spades has more ink on it than all the other aces. That gives it more weight. That's really a fact. I need someone to help with the trick. Sir, would you help me? Certainly. And what's your first name? John. We will let John feel how heavy the ace of spades is. John, hold out your hand. The clean one, John. <laughs> I'm only joking, John. Hold it out flat. John, the ace of spades has more ink than the others. That gives it more weight. John, would you hold out your other hand, please? Okay, John, the ace of clubs has less ink than the spade, right? It weighs less. Can you feel the difference in weight? Seriously. Not really. Not really. Okay, John, here's the spade. Here's the club. On the count of three, I will make them change places. One, two, three, go. Would you believe the spade's now here and the club's now here? Do you believe it, John? No, I don't. I want you to believe it. It really happened. I really want to believe it, too. Okay? <laughs> Folks, I want you to trust me. It really did happen. Okay. But now the hard part, I will change them back. Okay. Ah! Now the spade's here again and the club's there. John, isn't that impressive? I'm, I think that's great. Well, now look at John. Which, which one's which? Take a guess. I think this is the spade. Turn them both over, John. Both of them. See, the hard part's oh. getting oh. Surprise, surprise. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. For our next trick here, this time I will use the four jacks. You can all see them, right? They go face down on my left hand, the four jacks. These, again, are the aces John just had. I will run through them briefly. The ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, and the ace of spades. Watch them close. Two of the aces go right here. Two of the aces go back here, okay? okay? This one here is the ace of spades. You'll see why I flipped it over in a moment. To recap, these are still the four jacks, okay? Okay, okay it gets tricky now. 
The first jack is the jack of spades. That goes on the ace of spades. Okay. See the ace? Mm -hmm. The ace goes with the jacks. Mm -hmm. If I spin the cards and snap my fingers, instantly the ace vanishes and jumps over here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Watch again. Yeah. Jack of hearts is next. Can you see it all? Yeah. On the aces it goes. The ace goes here. If I snap my fingers, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. See, all the aces flock together. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> One more to go, folks. Watch it close. It's the jack of clubs. Watch it real close, because if you don't watch it close, there's something you just might miss. Oh See, all these God. become the jacks, and all these become the aces. Anybody care for a friendly game of poker? No. A friendly game. Yes, let's have a friendly 